Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be taking the Step 310E all the way, which isn't very far, but all the way to the service station where we will drop it off. Uh, we still don't have a trailer store anywhere in this area. And so, uh, yeah, there's going to be a there's going to be a lot of trailers that we're going to either have to bring across or we're just going to say screw it and leave them. So, uh, but let's get this mission completed because I, I believe we're running on. Yeah, we have three more tasks to do before before we can move on to uh, the next map. So let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, come on, connect. There we go. All right, all we got to do is deliver it, so we shouldn't have to fill it up or do any of those uh, repairs on it. So let's just yank it straight through the woods and drop it off. All right, so this part is going to be a little challenging, but I think we'll be fine. This truck is, is definitely capable of getting through here. In fact, I'm 100% sure it's, it has done it before. <coughs> Guess I should have started turning a little earlier. Ooh. Did I misspeak? Nah, you know what? We're going to... Uh, Get a little help here. Or at least try to get a little help. There we go. Just just had to make that turn. Uh let's what is it doing? <clears throat> Somehow I broke it. There we go. If I if I remember correctly, I should just be able to go right up this way. A little bit of adjustment we can uh Split these two trees and just yank this step right up. Yep, no, uh, no troubles there. And yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go off to the left here. <clears throat> and let's, let's bring it in a little bit more. I don't want it too far away. That's good. All right. So yeah, uh, that probably could have been done in the, in the last episode, seeing on how it took us mm, about four minutes to finish. But you know what? You never know with these missions. Um, sweet. Come on. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. That's, that that was pretty amazing. I thought I was just gonna end up ripping that out. <laughs> Come on, oh, let's take the handbrake off before we try to yank this through. And uh, yeah, my, my drop-off spot is a little full. But I think all we gotta do is get the corner of the truck in and it should be fine. There we go. Perfect. Not too bad. Um, Alright, cool. So... <laughs> Turns out the uh, the task that we're doing next is uh, pretty involved. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, sorry, sometimes I forget what. Okay, so we need four bags of cement. I'm guessing we can't. Oh no, we do get the cement here. We've got a tiny little scout trailer there. That's going to be completely useless. Do we have a flatbed trailer at all in this map? On this map? Um, <laughs> we 
We have fuel trailer. No, I think we're uh We're kind of SOL on that. I could have sworn we had. We don't. Okay, cool. Wow, we have a scout here that can't pull a trailer. That looks like it's a trailer, but I think it's a stationary object. Um, Alright, let's see what unexpected guest is. Scout is recommended. Suspicious camp. Okay, well, you know what? Let's uh let's do this one first. And uh we're actually going to take the TUZ 420. And uh Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how how have I left every single thing here. We'll just uh nudge this trailer out of the way. Oh, we, we almost could have just taken the whole... We could have taken the whole trailer back to uh, the garage. We quick fill up. We've got all of our fuel on top. And yeah, let's just uh, point and shoot this thing. And I am going to... I'm tempted just to off-road this thing all the way over there. Mmm, yeah, yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go up this way. This, uh, this fog is killing me. Ooh, ooh wow, that's a, that's a little soggy through here. That was, that was a little unexpected. There we go. So we'll, we'll stay off of that. This actually looks kind of like a trail. Uh, but we'll stay away from that. We're gonna try to go this way. Let's squeeze through here. Uh, oh, can't take out the birch tree. Although this does look like a trail, so... Yeah, this looks pretty promising. It is, uh, it is nice and slick. I'm not gonna lie there. Now, I don't know if this winch... I guess it helps a little bit, but not much. Uh, let's get something more solid. We're gonna avoid that water because this thing is, uh, it's not immune from water and I was right, it is pretty deep. Come on. Ooh, I feel like we may have been better off with, uh, maybe the Yar. This thing is not doing too well in mud. This may be the case of uh, the wrong tires too. I, I've, I've been told that the original tires are pretty good. Uh, mm, yeah, let's try that. Gotta get this turned. Nope. Uh, this is this is gonna be a bit more of a struggle than I was thinking. So, but you know what? It's good. Kind of deep. Kind of deep. All right. Uh, where was I? I got to interrupted. <laughs> uh, apparently, I was crashing into a tree. All right, so uh, 
We're gonna have to squeeze through here somewhere. And... You know what? I honestly think it's back here. Let's just, uh, let's just use a tree to get the front end of this. Turn for us. There we go. All right. All right. Go straight through the the nothing. <laughs> like I feel like this is the bog that Atreyu was stuck in. Like, holy crap! I don't think I've ever seen mud this bad. All right. Remember the mud back on the farm in Michigan? Where that, uh, the S10 was stuck, or no, the, the Silverado was stuck, or the, the CK1500, that's what it was. I wonder how bad that mud is compared to this mud. One of these days, I'm gonna have to, uh, take this back there and maybe try out just driving through it and see. I bet you, I bet you we go through it as if it's asphalt. <laughs> I remember it being so tough. Uh, but yeah, could you imagine being a legal camper and then this thing comes crawling through the woods onto your site? If, if anyone was wondering, that's the edge of the map. All right, seems like a false alarm. The place looks abandoned and mostly empty. Why would the owners just leave their tent? Here is another question. <laughs> but just knowing they aren't here anymore is good enough for me. Well, hell, that's a nice tent. I could totally use that tent. And the shopping, or the shopping, the shipping container, the axe, the, uh, the fuel trailer, that would be uh, ever so convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel. Why not? Because we're we're probably never coming back here now. Uh, in fact, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is probably a good time to recover. Well, you know what? We'll leave it here for now until we need it. Uh, but we definitely have to recover. We need a uh, we need four bags of cement. One, two, three, four. And we need a, uh, we need a truck to pull it. So, uh, the million dollar question is, is do I want to take, and I think I will, let's take this trailer back with us. I was, I was going to recover, but I don't think we need to. I think we can get a trailer and possibly even get cement from the quarry. So there's no point to go to drive. All the way back to uh, uh, the drowned lands. I love how I'm forgetting these names. Where is. Oh, it's buried. Alright, that's, that's fine. We should be able to upright it. And if not, then. There we go. <laughs> if you just pull it long enough, sooner or later it's going to, uh... It's going to skip off the ground and upright itself. Alright, so let's head back to the quarry. Uh, let's go here. Because, yeah, when we come back, we can actually cut through here to get the cement, or... If we do bring it back from the quarry, which I'm not 100% sure if there is... Uh, concrete there or not. But if there is... Then we can bring it back with us, so... You know what? I just realized that it's my friend's daughter's birthday today. It's her uh, 16th birthday, so happy birthday, Lexa. If you're watching, which you probably aren't, uh, happy birthday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just wanted to 
throw that out there for you. It's at least it's at least somewhere in the universe now. All right, uh, where are or where is? We have a flatbed trailer way over here. That's meh. There is no trailer on the map that we can use. There is a trailer store here. Uh, can we find cement? You know what? I have not. Have I not done? I'm. I have one task left on this map. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get to that sooner or later. Um, maybe we'll take the yard because that's over here. Uh, is there cement? I don't think there is cement over here. Uh, let's just double check. Gateway, logging station, service hub, trailer store, gateway, gateway, gateway. Yeah, I don't think there is there unless we can pick it up in here because I think there is some supplies here, but all right, well, we've got a little bit of a hike, so let's just start moving. Oh, that's a tight. That was a tight fit. Is there a chance that the quarry has cement? Concrete slats, no. Service fuel hub, no, that's not going to have it. Service hub, nope, spare parts. Although, they're spare parts, but we haven't had to use any of them. Lumber mill, obviously wouldn't have cement. Fuel station isn't going to have cement. Gateways. They don't have anything. Fuel station still only has fuel, so yeah, I think at this point, I think at this point we will uh, we'll go get our trailer and then we'll head back and we'll just we'll pick up the cement from the rift, and that will uh, that will seal the deal for the rift, and uh, all the tasks will be done in that part of the uh, in that part of Russia. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here. So, and if you if you guys are still watching, if you could uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the episode, uh, give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Just tell me why. I'm pleading you. <laughs> I haven't had a thumbs down in a while, so maybe people have stopped. <laughs> All because they don't want to tell me why. Uh, but yeah, seriously. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you are enjoying the series so far, go ahead and hit subscribe and there's a, a bell notification too. That way you'll be notified every time I release a new video, which is right now three days a week for SnowRunner and once a week for uh, my farming simulator. Uh, that series is just starting to go. Uh, we're starting to get bigger equipment so things will speed up much nicer. Uh, and it will be, uh, you, you kind of feel like you're, you're doing more because when you first start out with nothing, because that's what we did, uh, it, it, it's a pretty good fight, uh, just to get, uh, some decent equipment. And then, uh, it also allows you to unlock because basically we start off cutting grass like everyone else. You either cut grass or, uh, cut down trees. And, uh, well, since we, uh, own two grass fields, I went with the, uh, I went with the, uh, grass cutting option. <clears throat> but yeah, so anyways, that comes out once a week, and I might, if I ever get more time, I, I kind of want to start, uh, maybe doing two episodes a week with that one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's, it's a very slow series, uh, as far as, uh, views and whatnot. I don't... I think people have their their uh, farming simulator needs met by people who have been doing it for, you know, probably 10 years, if not more. Um, which good on them. I'm not uh, I'm not angry. I just would like to share a little bit in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, the wealth there. But uh, anyways. Let's, uh, what do we got? We got a quarter mile to get there. Am I even going the right way? Nope. I just decided to, to kind of do my own cut through. Didn't even realize that, uh, I mean, this looks like a trail, so 
Eh, anyways. Technically, it's not even shown as a trail on the map. I think the camera is going crazy. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get back on the main road. Maybe that will speed things up. Because we are... We're getting kind of low on fuel. I mean, we should have enough to make it. For bare any, uh, any reason that we may get stuck. And uh, yeah. Like, why does this want to tip over? <laughs> That's a little sketchy through there. I honestly do not remember this trail at all. <laughs> I thought this was the trail where we uh, had that one section where you... It looks like it's smooth, but then for some reason you always get stuck on something. Uh, there's kind of a, a, either an, a stump or a root that is uh, buried in the mud that you can't see until you hit it. Alright, anyways. <clears throat> my camera, I don't know, my thumb is just apparently pushing forward on the uh, joystick and zooming in on the, the, the truck. Keep having to back away from it. Alright, so we are... Oh, okay, yeah, we're almost there. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, I, I know this is a curveball, uh, but I think we're going to have plenty enough time to do this, is I'm going to get everything prepped here. What is this? Have I not done this yet? Late inspection. Nope, this is the, uh, this is actually the, the task that's left here. Alright, so we can, uh... Somewhere in here, I think we can drop off this trailer. Get some money back for it. This this here is a repair, but looks like we are good to go there. Yep, that's just service spare parts. There's a good old trailer store. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so we can make about, what? 5,800 bucks back for this trailer? Or is it 14? No. No, it's not 14. Uh, $6,400. There we go. And then we can get our trusty sideboard trailer. <laughs> this thing is going to, uh... The best trailer in the game as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so we're full there. Let's stop the engine. We are going to switch to the Yar. And we've got 30 gallons. We've got all the fuel there. Let's turn all-wheel drive on because that would be smart. And we gotta map this out. We gotta get up here. I'm. What is that? That's not even a mission. I guess that no good teens. Okay, so we do have a couple more. I was thinking the late inspection was the last one, but looks like no good teens and oil sampling are the last missions in here. But you know what? We're gonna continue to do this anyways. Let's let's actually turn around. No, oh, I want the front. There we go. Oh, of course it's for some reason instead of picking the front of the truck, it picked the side of the truck. It's still doing it. What the heck? There we go. Somehow I stopped the engine as well, so... Alright, so let's turn around. Ah, you know what? We'll, we'll go through here. Nope, we're still gonna hit three. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It looks like this is nothing but mud. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this little trailer with us anyways. Uh, it's always good to have a fuel trailer, right? Probably isn't going to hurt us any. Come on. Gotta get out of this mud though, like come on. Can we get better mud tires, please? Alright, so we're gonna try to balance on this hill, I guess is the best way to describe it. I know there's a, a better name for it, but that's the only one that comes to mind. Uh, let's go around all this mud. It's a little deceiving. You look at the map and it, it looks like this is a uh, nice dirt road. And yeah, it turns out it's pure mud. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. We are through. Alright. And oh wow. I'm I'm really not sure how the heck that's happening. Uh we've got a Oh I kind of just want to come to this road here. I think we're going to have to go left here. Yeah. We'll go off to the left here and then we'll uh, we'll go around the long way. Like I said, we've got plenty of fuel, so no, uh, no worries there. Almost ate it there. All right. I I realize how um, kind of pointless this is right now. Hey, watchtower! Yay! We already saw it. Oh crap! Oh man! All right, let's try to go around through all these stumps. Perfect. There's little mushrooms there that explode. I've never noticed that before. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if they uh, added that in an update or something? Or if those have always been there. Let me know in the comments what you think. Or at least maybe what you know. If you guys know if they've been in there the entire time or if I'm just not that observant. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so. Do, do, do. All right, we're we're a tenth of a mile away, so we're almost there. Uh, except we gotta go up that way more. Do we gotta climb up that hill? Yeah, we do. Okay, well, it would have made more sense to do this task uh, when we went to that watchtower up there. But, de la vie. It is what it is. I think that's what that means. I could be wrong. Uh, you know what? I think it's just going to be easier to take the road. Yeah, trying to weave your way up through there. It's, it's definitely probably easier just to take the road. I think we're going to slow down a little bit here. Yeah, we're going to take it nice and slow through here. Kind of. <laughs> this is nice and slow for me. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we should have just said screw it and uh, go up the hill anyways. Because this is not, uh, this is not that nice of a trail.
Um. Okay, cool. We're we're still we're still going. Oh, the uh, the fuel trailer almost passed us. That would have been interesting. Ooh, ow! That hurt. All right, cool. That was uh, that was that. Now I realized, yeah, we still have uh, a couple more tasks to do. Unfortunately, we actually haven't we haven't started that task yet, have we? Oil sampling's way over there. Oh, right next to a sideboard trailer. Well, you know what? That was farther away than. Uh... Oh yeah, guys. You know what that means? I was literally here. I could have went there. I could have activated it. All right. You know what? It's fine. Not that big of a deal. We can uh, try to squeeze through here. I'm gonna try to get to this road by uh, sketchily driving through all these trees. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. On the road. Didn't think it was gonna be that easy. All right, so let's set this up for uh, failure. I mean, uh, let's set this up for the, the next task. I think if we... Uh, is that the best route to go? Ooh. Do I go straight? You know what? This is where... This is where I leave you. Uh, Yaris? Yaris. There I go again. Uh, stop the engine. We'll jump back into the Azov and let's head back to the quarry or the rift. We're uh, we're doing a little bit of everything today. Look at these all these other trailers floating around here. So much free money. It's kind of it's kind of sad that um, money isn't really. I mean, money hasn't been an issue since what possibly the beginning of Alaska. And uh, I don't think it's really going to be an issue at all from here on out. Uh, let's... You know, we're so close to starting that. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I'm trying to do 20 things at once here. We can supposedly cut through here pretty quick. We're actually a lot closer to starting this than I'm, uh, I was expecting, so this shouldn't take very long. And I doubt we can finish it, because I got a feeling this oil sampling, we're going to need special equipment. But I could be wrong. Um, it seems like it's one of those seismic uh, vibrator doohickey tests. But we will... Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out shortly. It's a tenth of a mile. It's it's not that big of a deal. And well, this looks kind of rough, but it might be okay. We've got a pretty capable truck here, so. And uh, I'm gonna try to squeeze through here. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, it's got quite a drop there. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just bounce off the pipes, it's fine. So, we can accept this now. Uh, the oil rig is back in the action and is putting out its first batch. It is, it'd be best if the first sample of crude from the oil rig was eventually at the factory or was evaluated at the factory jeez I can't read sorry guys uh, just put it in the fuel station and we'll handle it from there so uh, yeah let's start tracking and it's yeah it's just a okay it's a little bit easier than I thought it would have been 
So we got a sideboard trailer, we've got that uh, recovery trailer, and we have this trailer. There's there's three trailers all in this one spot. Although that doesn't count as a discovery because we, uh, yeah, we're technically supposed to use it. Oh, crap. All right, you know what? Let's do it. We're right here. We should easily be able to haul. Uh, whoops. What am I doing? Start the engine. We will just, uh, yeah. We'll yank the fuel tanker behind us. Oh, come on, really? It's tree? Now you break. And, uh, let's see, what's the best way to get out of here? I'm thinking we could probably just sneak back up the way we came. Come out this way. And then head up that way. And then we can get some fuel. And then we can head to the rift, so... Maybe we won't be uh, completing the rift today? I know I said I wanted to. But uh, yeah, for some reason I'm uh, slightly addicted to doing the task in uh, the quarry. Alright, so where did I come down? You know what? I don't know where I came down, so we're just going to go up here. Maybe? Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, you did it. I think this is about where we came in. And I'm, I'm not even going to look at the tanker behind us. Yes, I am, I lied. It's doing pretty good. Can't really uh, complain about that at all. And that, uh, that seemed to be a little bit easier coming through this way. So yeah, probably clearing that out helped a lot. Come on, fifth gear, don't, uh, don't let me down. I want to go that way? No, I, I had a feeling I wanted to go this way. Alright, so we're going to try to turn late as possible. And by late as possible, I mean uh, do a two-point turn. No, I guess this is a three-point turn. Let's not get snagged up on the trees, please. Perfect. It's, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Let's stay off the railroad tracks. Although this is not... This is not the end of the line. <laughs> that was just the, uh, the second uh, marker point. So yeah, we still got a little bit late ways to go. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll call it a night when we get there and we'll start off in the morning. There's 
some uh, pretty small ruts going through here. Surprisingly, we've got uh, plenty of ground clearance. And uh, yeah, we just take a little bit of damage, no biggie. Nobody really cares about a little bit of damage, right? Let's uh, head up this wonderful hill. I think this might be the first time I've ever gone up this hill. Downshift. Look at that. Shifting helped a lot. Let's leave it in fourth. Okay, never mind. Truck has a mind of its own. I really wish they implemented gear shifting in this game. It would add a, it would actually add a level of skill to it. Um, I know they did the clutch, but that's still, oh, wow. I was too busy talking to realize that I was slowing down. But yeah, so like the clutch, I can tell it to shift in the fourth. Really, I can shift it up a gear if it's doing well. Or shift it down if it's struggling without dropping all the way down to first gear. But really, you can just throw it in high gear, so that kind of helps too. Uh, we gotta go this way, don't we? Break! Almost screwed that up. Alright, so what we have to do... We have to detach the or the gas trailer, detach my flatbed trailer. We have to then back up and get the fuel trailer, and then take that and drop it off. Oh, really? Perfect. That was perfect. First try. I'm kidding. Clearly it wasn't. Alright, so let's drop this off. And boom, there's some money. Four four thousand five four four thousand fifty dollars. And uh yeah, I kinda cleared that fast, so if you guys want to read it, feel free to. Uh, it's always easy to pause, so alright, so let's back up, let's grab our trailer and then we're finally gonna head towards the rift we're finally gonna do the rift we're gonna get this done I might I may just say screw it and uh, first of all let's let's spend the night I'm I may just say screw it and if it takes us another hour to finish this uh, this mission or task. Let's back up. <laughs> no need to go in the water. Uh, but if it takes a little bit longer, I think right now I've got about 20 minutes left, give or take. And uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, we can get over there. First of all, it's, it's been a while, so I just go straight down this road until I get to the. Uh, the crater, full of water. The one that I uh, always forget to turn at. Even though I know it's there. Alright, now we're fifth gear. We're trucking. We've got power and speed on our side. Uh, we've got a slightly flooded road. That shouldn't stop us. Or maybe it did a little bit. Float us down. Didn't stop us. Yay. Go us. I mean, really, it's me, but you guys are watching, so... I kind of like to include you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so this we can just kind of scoot around real quick. No biggie. Oh, uh, well, that was a pretty good-sized rock in a way. 
I love how we take random damage at like smooth points in the road. I was kind of hoping that I would take damage there. Uh, but then we can bounce off of giant rocks like that and not take any damage. Alright, it is what it is. I mean, what are you what are you gonna do about it, right? One thing I learned to do is complain about it. Probably the best thing I do in life. <laughs> I complain way too much. <clears throat> Alright. Um see, it's still a bit foggy in the morning. Come on, let's just high, high gear it all the way up the hill. Come on, don't you stall on me. You keep going. One gear, one speed, right? Alright, so this should be interesting. I have not tried to get the uh, sideboard trailer back here. I think what we can do is just do a three point turn and uh, yeah, it should just drag the trailer up the rock. I just gotta be careful of this corner here. There we go. Oh, 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 we lost the trailer, but it managed to hang on. All right, so I think what we do is we come to this road here and then we just hightail it over there. I, I don't think this is actually going to take that long to, to do. Most of the uh, drop-off points are pretty much right next to each other. It's not like we have to travel from one side of the map to the other, so... Pretty sure I take the uh the right Yeah. <clears throat> Just gotta make a smooth adjustment there. Yeah, so I realized I uh for a while there I wasn't talking. I was just kinda enjoying the uh the sounds of the game that uh we haven't heard in a while, so although nobody really uh really commented on it, so I haven't, I haven't, uh, haven't done it in quite some time, but I guess we'll, we'll call that a mini sound of the game. Let's try to weave through here as best as we can. Uh, yeah, we got a crappy turning radius, so we're gonna have to back up again. 
What is this task? Tell me this isn't a, a, another task. In with the new. Perfect. It's the task that we're working on right now. I wish they would have changed the color, like maybe do a blue. Instead of having everything the same color. I don't know, that's just me. Alright, well, we'll just, uh, I guess we just pick up concrete, or cement, I should say. Out of, well, basically out of thin air. Alright, so let's, uh, let's avoid the, uh, the land field, or the minefield of, uh, of stumps. I uh, I did not do that last time I came through here and it was uh, yeah it was an absolute nightmare. In fact I'm pretty sure I lost a subscriber because of it. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Uh, but let's look here. Uh, yeah we'll go back out to this main road and then we'll uh, we'll cut through here we'll drive yeah all the way to here and then we'll basically boom 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 knock out all of the uh, drop-offs so it shouldn't I you know what I don't think we're gonna be over our time at all in fact we might be under it look at that there's another trailer here oh there's so many trailers on this map that I did not uh, I did not buy so it's it's kind of annoying because I have a little bit of an OCD when it comes to these trailers laying around although at the end of the day I don't need them I don't need the money from them so what's the harm in leaving them right um, I do want to talk with EJ and maybe a couple other people and seeing about doing uh, either a stream where we uh, go through and and kind of grab all the trailers that we can and then we have a massive sell-off or even just doing a uh, public game and then recording it and uploading it as an episode so uh, it's one of those things we are coming to the end of Russia so um, it's gonna be the end of the, the base game so it's not it's not a bad idea to do kind of like a bonus episode Come on. Uh, right now it's just me trying to find the time to do it. Ooh, hurry up. Don't. Okay. I was a little nervous that we were going to tip over there. Just because that was a lot of weight pushing down. Alright, let's lull them through the trees. We even got a trailer way over there. Like... There's trailers everywhere in this this map. Ooh. Yay, we actually made that turn. Nice. I feel like that corner there they've made perfectly for this truck. Because if you do nail it right, if you do start turning at the right point, you just full lock. And you go all the way through that turn with no problems. Um, is that where they want me to drop it off? Alright, whatever. Let's do it. There's probably... Yeah, there's one stump there. Well, boom. We got one dropped off. Uh, let's go... There's one way over there. Let's go... We'll do the one way over there last, I think. Let's just cut through everyone's yard and somehow get stuck on a s tree. <laughs> Am I seriously stuck? <laughs> there we go. Oh, why am I trying to go around that fence? I can just go through it. 
Well, you know what? We'll, we'll attempt to go around it. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hit it. Alright, so... There's another one. We're getting a little bit lighter. That's a good thing. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's all the way. You know what? These trees we can go straight through. I'm gonna do this one right now. Dude, we didn't even touch that fence and it fell apart. I wonder if the developers did that on purpose for some reason. If it's if it's like a trolling. Uh, that's a tree. Yeah, that's that's not something you can drive through. Um, this is very very swampy around here, so. I don't really know. Ooh, we must have. Oh, we hit a stump. Oh. Give me that tree. Seriously. There's the stump. Oh, yep. We just destroyed that outhouse. Where am I going? Um, okay, well, let's back it up. Uh, apparently, this is where we need to go. Alright, so we are down to one load and a corner of a house. Okay, let's see if we can not hit a stump through here. Looks pretty good. Let's not follow the same example as the car right there. And yeah, we should be we should be good to go. Right. Come on. Oh, you, you truck. You had to downshift. You had to downshift. Come on. All right, there we go. And look at that. I think we're right on time. So perfect. Boom! That task is that that was seventy one hundred dollars. That was way too much money. That that felt like a three three thousand dollar job. Oh, you know what? They pay nice, so that's good. Can't complain about that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's double check here. I think we have everything we need to have. Look at all these trailers. There's two trailers there. There's a trailer here. There's a trailer over here. There's a trailer there, but that's attached to a truck. There's two trailers here. Like, oh my. All right. Well, you know what? It is what it is. And I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive back to. Yeah, we're going to drive back to uh, the rift. But, I am going to end this episode now, and I will start the other episode back when we're, well, when we're in the rift, and then hopefully we'll be going to Zimogorsk. I always want to say Zimogorsky, but there's no I at the end, so it's just Zimogorf. Zimogorf? I think I'm saying that right. I probably am not, but, uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, like I said before, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, uh, especially if you're enjoying the content as I'm uh, slowly getting stuck. <laughs> Come on, truck, you can do it. Ooh, get up there. Really?
All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to attach the back of the trailer. And you know what? That log right there should be good. Oh, let's try that again. I'm I'm trying to sign off, sign off, but uh, the game won't let me. Come on, there you go. Get up there. All right. So, anyways, like I said, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.